Good afternoon, people watching my 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Key word is believe. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you've automatically repented. <sighs> Period. Once you accept Christ as Savior, and you, you've automatically not only repented, but you've automatically put your faith and your trust and your belief in Him. You're justified by the blood. You're saved and sealed. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. And not only does he change you, not only is he your best friend, guides you and leads you, but he also seals you until the day of redemption. You cannot lose your salvation, period. Despite of what you've been taught, despite of what you believed in the past, you cannot lose your salvation. That's the bottom line. There's so much coming out today. That here again, I can't even keep track with it. First of all, I'm, I got the I got these two articles on my blog. Palestine, Palestinians declare a day of rage in support of prisoners being released. Now, let me tell you what happened. This came out earlier, and this is not good at all. I mean. Like I had said before, it says, and this is another article on my blog. I got them both on my blog. Inmates riot across prisons in Israel as manhunt for escaped prisoners continue. Folks, things are going from bad to worse. That's why I know the church is not going to be here long at all. This article proves it. Oh, and I got another one, too, about uh, China. I'm going to put this article also in the description box. Uh, Chinese state media vows military will show up. Listen, will show up at U.S. doorstep soon. And guess what? China will win. And guess what? They're right. China will win. Absolutely. I had a dream last night. Cody's got something sticky in here. You know what? Teenage, teenagers, good night. I had a dream last night and I woke up because of this dream of a terror attack. Now that was my dream. It was a terror attack and all I saw were jihadists. That's all I saw. And I woke up. Remember, a few weeks ago, I had said that the Lord had showed me in an afternoon vision. I had seen it. I mean, I was going around my, going about my business, and all of a sudden it dropped in my spirit. It's going to start with the Middle East. That's exactly what I heard, and that was it. Right there. All else. And then, a few weeks later, this came out with Afghan. Folks. We're not going to be here long. How do you escape all this is coming? How do you escape the coming great tribulation when planes are literally going to be crashing? Cars are going to be piling up from accidents. Trains are going to be derailed. Babies are going to be taken. You're going to have appointments at the doctor's offices and half the staff and the patients are going to be gone. People are going to be in the street crying. Graves are going to be open of those who died in Christ. There's going to be chaos. How do you escape all that? There's only one way, and that's to accept Christ as Savior. Admit you are a sinner in need of a Savior. There's only one, and that's Jesus Christ. Now... 
Let's talk about the mark of the beast. Since everybody wants to talk about the mark of the beast and how the V is the mark of the beast. Well, let's talk about that. I got this article today. It says, we're entering the dawn of total, the dawn of total financial surveillance. Another great step towards Bible prophecy. Imagine living in a world where every one of your non-cash financial transactions, a restaurant, meal, a Venmo transfer to a friend, maybe some Bitcoin bought on the, uh, the dips was automatically reported to be to a beefed up, audit hungry, excuse me, IRS. That dystopia will become a reality if resident sleepy gets his way. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and key Capitol Hill allies such as Pocahontas are pushing a vast intrusive financial surveillance system in the name of closing the tax gap. Now let's talk about the mark. No, let's talk about the mark of the beast. But don't worry. There's no need to fear if you've got nothing to hide. For already compliant taxpayers, the only, uh, the only effect of this uh, regime is to provide easy access to summary information on financial accounts and to decrease the likelihood of costly, no-fault examinations, the Treasury Department said this may, this may, in a nakedly authoritarian document called, listen to the title, the American Families Plan Tax Compliance. Compliance Agenda. But for the non compliant taxpayers, the department continues. This regime would encourage, encourage voluntary compliance as invaders realize that the risk of invasion being detected has risen noticeably. The Dopey administration's proposed comprehensive financial account reporting regime would dramatically increase the types of financial institutions and, and transactions exposed to the Fed's prying eyes. All business and personal accounts from financial institutions, including bank loans, including banks, loans, investment accounts, would be forced, listen very carefully, would be forced to report gross inflows and outflows to the IRS. I don't care how big your account is. This is what they're proposing. Now, this has got to go through Congress. Not just bank accounts. The dragnets would now include PayPal, settlement companies, and crypto asset exchanges for starters. The new domestic surveillance program, which requires congressional approval, it has to go through Congress. So it's not passed yet. 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 Is one prong of a strategy for transferring the entire global financial system into a harmonious haven-free collection funnel to the IRS. The second part, which has taken up the bulk of uh, Sleepy's multilateral diplomacy thus far, is getting the industrialized would to agree on a global minimum corporate tax of 15% while setting up a system to prevent multinational companies from registering their profits in the lowest tax jurisdictions. 
The Bible tells us that one day we'll come into the future where they will be a global system that will track all of humanity through buying, selling, and trading with the means of tracking them through a mark on your forehand or in your head. Oh, don't worry about the V. And I'm talking to those who are going to be left here. They're going to track you. You will be tracked. Because you will be convinced to take this mark of the beast. This is it right here. Once the system has been implemented into society, no transactions will go under the radar. As a tyrannical leadership under the Antichrist will know whether or not you have pledged your allegiance to him. You'll know. And he'll know. Again, you ask, well, how do we escape all of this? Get saved. As simple as that, get saved. That's the only way. How do you prepare for the rapture? Get saved. Accept Christ as Savior. Come to the end of yourself and say, and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. Like I said, it's only one Savior, and that's Jesus Christ. Believe in him and call out to him. It's not a 12-step program. It's not going to him, oh, I have to clean myself up and repent of all my sins. No, it's not that. You go to him and believe in what he's already done at the cross of Christ. I don't know why that's so hard for people to understand, but so is them. You know what? I'm cool with that. You believe how you want. I believe the way God said it because it's simple. And he even said it in his word. This is the simplicity that's in the Bible. Period. I can't argue with these people no more. I, I refuse to. People who want to make it so difficult for people to get saved, they're going to, they're in for a rude awakening. Big time. That's all you have to do. Folks, we're headed towards the end of grace. Matter of fact, it's right here. Now, they want to come out. I don't know. He's supposed to be speaking at, um, if he remembers, at 5. If, he taken, if he's taken his siesta, his afternoon nap, to talk about what, he's, uh, what they're planning on doing and everything. Um, it's maddening. It's maddening what's going on. And Australia... It's just like Venezuela. Now, I didn't know this until my husband just told me. They took all the guns away from Australia. This is what happens when they take away your firearms. Then they tell you what to do. This total dictatorship. And this is exactly what happened in Venezuela. Now the government has total control. That's a shame. I don't know whether that would happen here or not, without bloodshed. It could. It might. But it won't get far, especially in states like Texas. And especially, <laughs> but we won't be here. I belong to the NRA, so I know. Anyway, I'm going to link this article in the description box, and I will be back with whatever video is uh, uh, coming up next. I got to keep track of this stuff because now it's getting to the point where it's getting dire. The church cannot be here much longer. Simple as that. Because the church is not destined to what's coming on this earth. Let me explain something to you, everybody. 
The rapture is not to get you out of your, and I'm not knocking people who are in pain. Believe me, I know what pain is. I'm in pain every day. The rapture is not to get you from your problems. The rapture is not just taking you out of here. So you don't have to deal with certain stuff. The rapture is God's promise to his children. And the rapture is actually dealing with Israel. Because Israel rejects Jesus as her Messiah. The rapture is also to deal with those who are lost. And it's only for those who are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. If you don't have your faith and trust in Christ, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Because that's the only means of escape away from this world. The whole world is coming under fire right now. And this abortion thing, they're trying to stop it any way they can. They're trying to push uh, mandates. They're trying to do everything they can. Like I said, the church is not destined to this. I'll be back later with uh, another video. Thank you.